Hey everyone, it's Chris, and today I'm going to be talking about gear hacks that I like to use in my hiking gear setup. Okay, so earlier this year, one of my YouTube mates, Jake, posted a video on his channel about some of the gear hacks that he uses for his hiking gear. And he prompted others to also talk about some of their own gear hacks. And I'd been meaning to make this video for a little while. A couple of months ago, I was on a road trip in New South Wales and Jake and I actually had the chance to meet in person, which was really cool. And it just prompted me to just finally get this video done. So here it is talking about a few of the gear hacks that I like to use in my own hiking gear setup. So gear hack number one for me relates to my air pillow. I've talked previously about how this is a luxury item that I take with me on hikes. You don't necessarily have to have a pillow but I just like to have this. I've said previously how it only takes up a little bit of space in my pack. It's very compact and doesn't weigh very much. So I like to take this with me on hikes. Now the only thing with it is that the fabric on this is okay, but it's not the most comfortable to sleep on. And so what that means is I use another bit of versatile gear, which is my buff. Obviously can be used for a whole variety of different purposes. But one of the purposes I like to use the buff for is basically to pull over my air pillow to use as a pillowcase. And it just is a nice soft surface to be able to sleep on. And yeah, just a lot more comfortable than sleeping on the fabric of the pillow itself. So that's gear hack number one. Gear hack number two relates to a couple of different types of tape that I carry with me on hikes and how I like to carry those. So the first of those is for what I use for blister treatment on my feet, and that is Luco tape. Now, I choose to use Luco tape basically because once this stuff is stuck on, it is really firm and won't move around. I previously used moleskin a few times and it just basically just slid off as soon as my feet started to get a bit sweaty. So this stuff works really well. Now, obviously, I don't want to carry around a whole roll of it like that. And so what I do is in my first aid kit, I have a little pen and a few sheets of notepad that I carry around in the first aid kit. And that's really just if I needed to take notes, if I wasn't able to take notes on my phone for any reason. And the pen that's inside that, what I do with the Luco tape is I just wrap it a few revolutions or enough that I think I need for a hike around that pen. And that's the way that I actually carry my tape. So anytime I just need to deal with a blister, it's just easy to get access to this. And it's a nice sort of compact way to carry that tape. So that's the first type of tape I'm talking about. The second type of tape I carry with me on hikes is duct tape. This is used for any running repairs that I may need to do on any of my hiking gear. And possibly if I run out of Luco tape, I could use this for blister management as well. Now again, duct tape comes on a roll, which is not all that convenient to carry around in your pack. So the way that I actually carry it around is I've rolled some of it around my trekking pole and I just roll enough around there to ensure that I've got enough to have as needed for any particular hike. And it's just a really convenient way to carry it around, easy to get access to, and it doesn't take up any space in my pack. So just a really good way to have that ready when I have to do a repair. Gear hack number three that I like to use is just the simple carabiner. This is just a lightweight carabiner that I actually got when I bought a little tube of sunscreen so that was just hooked through it and in fact that's the sunscreen that I use when I'm out hiking and I just hook this to the outside of my pack through one of the zips or over a strap 
and it just means I can get easy access to sunscreen whenever I need to reapply it. There's a few other ways that I use this carabiner as well though, and that might be hanging a food bag when I'm hanging food at night to keep it away from animals being able to get into it. So I can just hook my food bag through this and either hang this off a tree branch or with some cord that I carry, just some spare guy rope that I usually carry with me and use it for hanging food. And also another way that I also use it is with my water bag. So the, this is the Canock Vecto bag. And if I want to just basically hang the bag, so I'm just doing a sort of gravity filtration into my water bladder or water bottles, I can just hang this again off a carabiner and just let it sit there and do the gravity feed while I'm doing other stuff around camp. So really handy little bit of equipment that has a variety of applications. And as I said, I'll carry just either one or two of these with me as a really useful little piece of gear when I'm out hiking. And the final gear hack I'm going to talk about today is actually one that I haven't had to use yet, but I do have my gear set up in a way that I could use it if I ever needed to. So the utensil that I use for eating all my meals on hikes is a long handled spoon. Now I've heard numerous stories about this being one of the items of gear that hikers tend to lose. And I thought, well, if that ever happens to me, I wanna have some sort of a backup plan to be able to use something else if I didn't have my spoon available for eating. Now what I do on hikes with whichever tent I decide to take is I always pack a couple of extra pegs than the maximum number that I'm going to need. So for example, my Z-Pax Ultiplex tent needs a maximum of 10 pegs. So I'll always pack 12 with me. Now that's obviously if I'm gonna lose potentially one or two, I've got spares that I can use there. The other purpose of course that I've come up with is to take a couple of those spares also in the event that I may lose my spoon. And I've got a couple of these that I can use as something to eat with. Now, the particular type of ones that I'm using, these are ones that came with my XPED tent and they're shaped in a way that they've got these grooves in them. So I can actually hold two of those together and use the grooves to scoop food up in those when these are together really easily. And it's almost like they've got little prongs as well based on the shape of them. So it can kind of act like a fork. Or the other thing that can be done is they can be used as a pair of chopsticks. So a couple of different ways to use these as eating utensils, which I think is pretty handy. So that's, as I said, something that I haven't had to fall back on yet, but it's there in the plan if I needed to. Now, none of the gear hacks I've talked about here today are original. They're just ones that I've seen other hikers use in their own gear setups and ones that I've decided to adopt because they've been really useful to me. There are a whole bunch of other ones out there and I'd be keen to hear from you guys about some of the gear hacks that you guys might use in your own setups. So feel free to leave a comment down below or if you're a YouTuber as well, post a video about it and tell us about your gear hacks. So that's it. That's a few of the gear hacks that I like to use in my hiking gear setup. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you out on the trail next time.